Hi there, today I'm going to replace this temporary sprinkler with permanent ones up on the roof. I'm going to put one over this end and uh, one in the middle and uh, that will be right over there and one on the end here. So I'm going to put three on the uh, permanently on the roof and uh, I've been shopping, <coughs> just taking out the things. So these are the uh, connectors and the key and, and all that that, uh, that will uh, you know, allow me to uh, complete the job. So basically I'm using impact sprinkler uh, like this. Um, people use this for irrigation and uh, it's, it's going to go in uh, onto this uh, connector and it will sit on the roof permanently. So you know it's just ready always ready for um, for when I need it during uh, you know uh, wildfire or bushfires so it's basically to wet down the uh, surrounding areas around the house and that's the uh, T joints which I will take the uh, uh, water from the uh, house uh, pipe so basically I'm doing as much prep as possible um, down here in the shed uh, you'd want to be doing all this up in the uh, roof so I'm just preparing it getting it ready and this one putting the uh, plumber's tape or the uh, teflon on the uh, sprinkler and I have another video which will explain how to do this but uh, it, you know it's basically it's just uh, you know a couple of rounds it uh, and then uh, that, that will prevent the um, uh, you know water leaking out it will give you a good uh, seal so break it there and um, screw it in so I'll be making three of them, like I said. So this this one you're looking at is the um, the last one, the end. So the end has the terminator there. It terminates there, and the middle one will have a T uh, T join. So this is how it will work, and just test it out. It's working. So every time the water hits it, it turns. And uh, I'm making the base to uh, sit the uh, impact sprinkler on because the roof is on the slope. So this one will, um, you know, at least put it into a more or less level. So using uh, saddles to hold it, and the first one is already up there. So just unrolling the um, pipe out. So it's all on, up on the roof now. <coughs> and first one there, sitting on the uh, base. The middle ones. So that's got a T joint, and uh, you know, rises up like that. And I'm using a, in a hex screw to screw it onto the roof. And the last one. So three together. And the uh, water is coming out from under the house crawl space. It's a bit dark in here, but uh, that is the outside. So the pipe's coming in here, and I've got to join it uh, to the um, uh, water pipe which is a bit dark, you can't see it uh, over here so I make a cut and uh, I'm joining it now so back out again <coughs> it's coming out there, up here and I'll put the valve, um, you know, easy accessible which is um, you know, uh, at a good height so if I were to turn it on, the water will go up up onto the roof here and uh, let's go turn it on now and you see the water going up so it's on and the water is coming out nicely out of all the three in the one uh, uh, all on the one line and, and so it's really wetting down the roof and wetting the surrounding area and this is the view from the front uh, and it's uh, wetting down all the vegetation so thanks for watching